What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel, Hairlicious If you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on the latest hair loss news. Today, I actually wanted to introduce my Hairlicious E Hair Growth Supplement. There's a lot of you guys who've been asking me what type of vitamins and supplements that I've been taking for the last three years to treating hair loss and especially after my hair transplant. So I was finally able to jam pack most of the ingredients into a single capsule. Um, there's only so many things that you guys can put into one capsule and there's so many helpful ingredients But after working with a supplement specialist I managed to find the best ingredients that are known to combat hair loss block DHT increase blood circulation and contribute to over a healthy hair follicle growth So I'm gonna get this right out from the beginning of this video Supplements and vitamins are not going to cure hair loss. It's not going to make somebody who is suffering from a Norwood 6 or Norwood 7 to going back to a Norwood 0. It's not going to be a better replacement to finasteride or dutasteride or any other 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. But with that said, ingredients in the supplement are all natural and they are scientifically backed up with ingredients and vitamins that are known to promote healthy hair growth. Some of them are also known to block DHT um, and also increase blood circulation in the scalp. There are certain ingredients in the supplements such as all palmetto, zinc, pygium, um, green tea, and ginkgo, which are known to be good DHT inhibitors. And while they are not as potent as finasteride or dutasteride, they are still going to be a natural alternative that you guys can take to fight against hair loss. And I would highly recommend taking this if you guys are noticing or experiencing hair loss so that you can treat it from all angles. And you can even include it even if you guys are taking finasteride or dutasteride or minoxidil because it's going to target it, like I said, from various angles and it's also including the natural route. So if you're adding all these arsenals to your hair loss treatment, it's only going to be beneficial. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the ingredients in the supplement because I know that some of you guys are very curious. Um, all the ingredients that are known to promote healthy hair growth and as well as some of the DHT blockers and why you should actually be taking hair growth supplements in the first place. First off, the supplement is loaded with a lot of vitamins. We have vitamins A, B, C, and E and these vitamins help produce sebum to moisturize the scalp and it also helps keep the hairs healthy. It also contains powerful antioxidants that protect against the oxidative stress from free radicals and it actually also increases collagen production which we know is going to be beneficial when it comes to hair growth. Now one of the main ingredients that I wanted to really talk about in the beginning is niacin. Niacin has been scientifically proven to increase blood circulation, reduce scalp inflammation, induce keratin production, and also repair DNA cells all which are going to have a positive effect on hair growth. Now we know that blood circulation plays a huge role in scalp hair follicles as they carry various nutrients and oxygens. So niacin is also going to be very important because studies show that on average, subcutaneous blood flow was over 2.5 times lower in men suffering from male pattern baldness. So there's no doubt that blood flow does contribute to uh, healthy hair growth. Now another ingredient is folic acid, which plays a vital role when it comes to cell growth and tissues and is required for the division and regeneration of cells that are responsible for hair growth. It works synergistically with other vitamins in the supplement in the overall synthesis of proteins. And this is particularly important because we know that hair is composed entirely of protein. Folic acid is also used by many people to speed up hair growth as well as uh, when it's used in conjunction with biotin. It actually might be beneficial for those who have actually just undergone a hair transplant and want to go ahead and speed up the hair growth process. So with that said, biotin. Biotin is actually a supplement um, that is also included in here, which is one of the several vitamins that plays a positive role in the growth of healthier and thicker hair. Now, biotin is not going to be having any effects when it comes to treating male pattern baldness, but it does help contribute to promoting healthy hair growth, speeds up the hair growth and the thickness of the hair follicles. So, you know, it's no brainer that you guys can add this to your arsenal. And there's a lot of hair supplements that include biotin. It's been beneficial for not only your hair, but also for your skin and also for your nails. Next up is pantothenic acid. This vitamin actually it helps prevent hairs from going gray so it can actually restore their natural color the funny thing is i remember this guy in high school who actually had gray hair and had i known this earlier i would have recommended him pantothenic acid to take because he got picked on a lot and it just wasn't a pleasant experience this vitamin also helps strain hair roots and the shaft it also relieves scalp inflammation and regenerates hair follicle cells so also this is a no-brainer that you guys should include this into your arsenal so, next up two ingredients is inositol and choline which uh when combined together 
they form fossil lipids that promote hair growth. In addition, there are studies that show that deficiencies in these vitamins lead to hair loss. And when the vitamins were actually reintroduced back into the diet, hair growth was restored. We also have PABA, which is para-amino benzoic acid and has been found to stimulate hair growth, reduce hair fall, and decrease graying of the hair. MSM is also a pretty good ingredient. It's a sulfur chemical compound known for its anti-inflammatory properties. And it's also known to form bonds essential to strengthening hair and influencing hair growth. Next up, this is actually one of my favorite. It's Ginkgo. Modern studies show that it acts as a vasodilator and an antioxidant, and it's known to widen the blood vessels that supply hair follicles with nutrients, therefore improving the follicle performance. It's kind of like minoxidil, where minoxidil acts as a vasodilator by increasing the blood vessels. And there's actually a study that was documented in the Journal of Clinical Investigation that showed that it increased a total volume of hair by 70%. In addition, Japanese researchers who treated 50 human test subjects, now human, not animals, uh, with Jinko showed a reduction in hair loss. So this is also very good. Salt Palmetto, you guys are already familiar with Salt Palmetto. Salt Palmetto is a 100% natural herbal supplement that is known to inhibit DHT. Obviously, it's not going to be as potent as finasteride or dutasteride since finasteride works in about 70% of users, while Salt Palmetto works in about 40%, but it does play a role in hair growth and also in blocking DHT. And like I said, it is a good natural alternative when it comes to replacing finasteride. Next up is Pygem, which is an African mountain tree whose bark was known to treat prostate conditions. And as we know, there is a correlation between hair loss and prostate issues. This is why five milligram of finasteride is used to treat enlarged prostates versus one milligram of finasteride, which is used to treating hair loss. And studies do indicate that Pygem is even more effective when it is combined with salt palmetto and it's actually known to inhibit DHT with minimal size side effects. We have green tea. Green tea, as we all know, is used to improve blood circulation of the hormones and improve blood flow and is a great antioxidant to inhibit DHT. And last but not least, we have grapeseed extract, which is also known to increase blood flow. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as the main ingredients in the supplement. You guys can check out hairlishes.com for a full list. I would actually highly recommend anybody who is suffering from hair loss or thinning to be taking supplements as well as in addition to other hair loss arsenals that you guys have already been using, you know, minoxidil, finasteride, dutasteride, lasers, and even micro needling or derma rolling. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave some comments below. If you guys have suggestions on what topic I should be covering next, you can shoot me an email at hairlishes at gmail.com or you can also leave it in the comment section below. But thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you guys next time.